Matt Rife. Matt Rife. Matt Rife. Matt Rife is getting canceled. So is Sam. Matt Rife is a comedian that got famous from clips of him on TikTok and YouTube doing crowd works. Majority of his core audience are females and majority of people that are outraged are females. So his main core audience is mad at him. Most people don't know, though, that Matt Rife has actually been doing comedy for about 10 years. One of the way I discovered him long time is actually through a famous popular show called Wild and Out. It is improv, sketch and rap comedy show practically on MTV. So the outrage is he started out his special by saying a DV practically jokes and that got a lot of women upset so let's take a look matt rife is being canceled over a joke about domestic violence in his netflix special the hostess who like seats you at the restaurant had a black eye and my boy who i was with was like yeah i feel bad for her man i feel like they should you know, put her in the kitchen or something where nobody <laughs> where nobody has to see her face you know and i was like yeah but i feel like if she could cook she wouldn't have that black eye <laughs> The comedian appeared sensitive about reports of him having a mainly female fan base, claiming that he doesn't pander his career to women. To admit that you don't fucking like having a female fan is not only misogynistic, it's fucking stupid. Like, you're fucking up your own business, bitch. I think I'm going to open my show with a joke about domestic violence. Oh, like a clever piece of satire that can offer some catharsis to domestic violence victims? No, I'm thinking more something at the expense of domestic violence victims about a waitress with a black eye. And then the punchline, get it, is she got it because she's not very good in the kitchen. That, that's the joke. Okay, Maybe remember for a moment that you, you built your career on an audience of women and given one in three women experience some form of domestic violence in their lives, do you really think your primary audience is going to find that very funny? No, that, that's actually the point. I want women to know that I'm not pandering to them. Okay, that's a choice. Um, but if you know that most women are not going to find a poor taste domestic violence joke funny, who do you think will? What do you mean who? Men, of course. Men. You think specifically men find jokes at the expense of domestic abuse victims funny? Yeah, just take a second to hear yourself. You, as a man, wrote that joke because you think men find domestic violence funny. Yes. Wow, you really don't see it. Oh my God, the way they all eventually tell on themselves. You can't go to a comedy show and get offended. You can't get offended over a comedian's joke. There have been far worse comedians out there that are, I've said 10 times worse jokes. Well, yes, domestic violence is not a good thing. It's never a good thing. Round upon it. No one should go through something like that. But he's saying, I'm just not a female dominant audience i also have male audience it's true so he decided to stand 10 toes down on this and which is very very funny and i actually show a lot more respect but the fact that he's not even sorry for it makes it so much worse this is what he just posted it's as if you've ever been offended by a joke i've told here's a link to my official apology and the website it goes to is a medical supply website for special needs helmets that are lightweight, soft, durable, well ventilated, and offer a unique protection. So now, he's calling mostly women who are offended by this joke. What do you think he's saying to us? And I liked him too because of what I saw on TikTok. And I was excited for him when he launched his tour. And he was having a show in Radio City Music Hall. Or was it the Barclay Center? Anyways, like his career isn't even that successful to try and tank it so quickly. His career isn't as successful for it to stay afloat like this. It's way too early for trying to make controversy, my guy. It's too early. But hey, at least you can make the money of all the dudes now, right? <laughs> you know, I'm really not surprised about all this controversy around this one male comedian that we all know. Someone in my comments once told me that I look like a girl version of him and I thought, hmm, weird. If he met me though, he'd hate me. 
Are we just now discovering how deeply misogynistic he is? I actively unfollowed him a while back when I saw that he had the audacity on someone's podcast to make comments about his preferences about a certain part of a woman's anatomy. He quotes, Am I supposed to F you or thumb wrestle you? I don't love a giant C-L-I-T. I I don't want to look down and feel like God left the tag on you. I don't want your kitty cat to look like the gum from Sausage Party. This makes me so deeply sad for so many people who have Audis. And I just want to cry because I feel like comments like this from stupid men perpetuates this notion that women have to conform to these really just unpractical beauty standards because surprisingly we do have beauty standards down there it's like so weird well having preferences and you know attraction to certain things is natural and normal there are ways to do that without completely putting down people without fueling this culture of body shaming for anyone who saw that clip i just want you to know that visibly seeing your clit or little flaps is completely normal, okay. And I feel like he's just insecure and he's saying it just because even if it was a right big, right in his face, like a thumb, he still wouldn't be able to find it, so. Ironic how he was stating his preference and you you still shit on him, practically saying he won't be able to find it and practically going on and on about other stuff. Matt Reif also saw this coming and you know, he was already talking about it long before. So take a look at it. Dude, I, I could not believe the lengths people will go to to argue about it has nothing to do with them on the internet it's impressive man because it snowballs very quickly it quickly becomes this like mob mentality because what happens online is once a, a large enough group of people start getting upset with you on the internet everybody wants to get their lick in right because the internet is full of people who have negativity towards themselves that they have to project onto other people so this is their opportunity because that's your punishment if you ever get in trouble on the internet your punishment is that people can say anything they want to you anything even if it's way worse than what you said to get in trouble in the first place mate it's 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 impressive and ultimately that stuff never bothers me like look you're never gonna hurt my feelings okay i've been dead inside for so long like my my plane crashed a long time ago and i didn't step over the bag emotionally speaking you know what i mean so you can talk to me as much as you want but the thing you have to know about me and what i've i've learned through therapy or whatever is that i'm i'm a very defensive person apparently like i i, I have a very quick trigger reaction to feel the need to defend myself if i feel like somebody's coming at me see myself i would probably do the same thing um that's probably that's the reason why he posted those uh on his ig story but to me i find that very natural because human nature you tend to want to protect yourself so you fight back and say whatever you need to do because you don't want to pander to another person or you standing on your ten toes and how you feel about something and that's how you feel about it so it doesn't matter wait why are we canceling matt right like i know he said some questionable things but he's a comedian every comedian pushes the line you know and like i don't know i just think it's good to remember that matt really has such a good heart and like Maybe we should remember that. Yeah, I might get in trouble, and, or yeah, some people might not like the jokes that I tell, but I'm, I'm gonna tell the jokes that I wanna tell, and hopefully my audience will gravitate towards that, and we can all get along and have a fucking cool friendship. At the end of the day, it's comedy. So if you find yourself being offended by something somebody say, remember, if you're going into a comedy show or anything, you gotta come with an open mind and everything will be all right. But if you're going there and you're quick to be triggered or anything like that, I get it. Not every jokes will land. Not every jokes is meant to be funny. Like you might not say that's funny, but at the end of the day, it's their work of art and this is how they tell their jokes. So be mindful and be open-minded because at the same time, he's also a person, he's just doing his job. Whether or not his main core audience is women or not, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, you guys chose to follow this person. You guys chose to listen to this person. So when he was up in stage trying to practically almost strip himself and doing all this crap and all these things that women find and seductive and exploit him based on his looks and his body there was nothing there's no complaining about it but the minute he says something about you guys being in the kitchen or anything 
all of a sudden we find offended. I don't see how that's yes, domestic violence. You do not. It's a serious thing. We should not take it lightly. I, I completely understand and no one should go through something like that. But that's going to be the end of the video, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, subscribe. Peace out.